Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Terra Cards Madness. It is great to be here and I hope you're doing well today, folks. So what do we have on the docket today? Well, today I want to go aquatic. And what do I mean by aquatic? Well, there are certain species of aquatic animals that you can get in this game. You know, I don't often use them, right? We like to focus on the land-based creatures and plants, right? But there is an array of aquatic animals that you can get. And I wanted to try a build featuring them today. Those animals are, of course, the crab, the king crab, and the penguin. And I think central to the build we're going to try today is, of course, the crab. And the crab has an interesting synergy with another animal that is a land-based animal. So we're going to just kind of play around a little bit. I'll kind of explain it as we go. So we're going to hop right on into a new farm here. And I must admit, folks, just let me get this out of the way as a disclaimer. So I have been dealing with just a little bit of vocal discomfort in the past few days. Uh, we're on the road to recovery. Everything is good. But if my voice sounds a little bit funny, that is definitely why. Like I said, we're on the road to recovery. All is well, but... Man, it's a little bit of vocal discomfort. It's kind of hard to uh, do videos under such conditions. But we're battling. We're doing good. So thanks for hanging with me. So for our character selection, we're going with the regular. I think it makes sense. For our perks, let's go with save the animals. I mean, plus three production across the board. You cannot deny that. Uh, monoculture, I think, makes a lot of sense. And then Seven Seas Explorer, I think, does make sense. Otherwise, we could go with, like, good planning... Let's go with the Seven Seas Explorer. Let's do it. For our farm name, we're going to call it Chicken in the... Chicken in... Crab. Chicken and crab. Yeah, you got it. All right, so here we go. Obviously, we're going to do a pretty basic opening, but... The main thing I'm looking at here, folks, is... So let's take a peek at the crab card just real quickly, right? So plus two production per crab on same island, right? Yeah, that, that's a nice little buff. You keep your island homogenized with the crabs, you get a nice production buff. But furthermore, the crab will eat every egg produced on adjacent islands. And then gets plus one production per egg produced in adjacent islands. So this means if you surround the crab with chickens, right? It's going to realize a nice production buff. And that's what we're going to try to do today. Furthermore, you're able to accentuate your crab production with the king crab, which is going to double the production further, right? And then, of course, we have the chicken, which is an animal, right? And there's a new essence reward, if you haven't been aware, called chicken in the corn, which gives a sizable production buff. So my idea for this one here, folks, is obviously go corn. Let's exploit chicken in the corn. Let's get... Crabs and chickens and just kind of see how strong it can be Let's accentuate with crabs and penguins as well. So penguins will help ultimately boost up your crabs as well So I'm really interested in kind of seeing how this goes. So first and foremost, let's grab some corn, right? Corn is very much a part of this And yeah, we're I don't want to say we're reliant upon but we definitely do need to make sure that we secure chicken in the corn and that's just a fact of this one, right? So we're going to make sure, hopefully, that we do that. But let's start it off with some corn. Let's start it off with a pretty typical kind of sunflower energy battery build. But I'm going to be taking corn here as it's made available because it's just kind of the key to what we're rocking with here. So with that said here, folks, if you are new to the channel or you're just kind of stopping by, maybe you're just checking out the video for the first time. Maybe you'd never even heard of Terra Cards. All good. Whatever your situation is, but if you are enjoying the content, please consider becoming a subscriber here to the channel. You know, help out a new channel. Help me grow. We've seen a lot of growth in, you know, the past month, which has been tremendous. So I attribute that to you fine folks. And if you're getting value out of the content, then you know what to do. Just hit that subscribe button. Also, if you think I'm doing a good job here, then uh, please consider giving the video a like as well. So I've been uh, meaning to uh, promote my Discord channel more. I just got that baby all updated and ready to uh, present to the general public. We do have some members available right now in the Discord, which is great. And if you wanted to join the Discord, well, there is a link in the video description here. Just click on in there and join up. We'd love to have you. So in the Discord, right, I'm just providing kind of updates on the channel and kind of what we're doing uh, it's a viewer engagement opportunity for you, right? There's some polls, there's different channels, there's a great growing community there. So if you have any interest, then consider joining the Discord as well. 
many, many ways to interact with this channel here. And ultimately, I just thank you for viewing. So thank you so much. Thank you also for dealing with my voice today. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been rough lately, but that's all right. We're battling here, folks. So I'm going to get a preemptive melter down. What I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm just trying to maximize the chicken in the corn buff as soon as it becomes available, right? I'm trying to maximize that as much as I possibly can. And obviously, uh, another great boon to a corn build is you get, you know, you get access to popcorn as well. And popcorn is, I mean, it seems pretty basic, right? And really, it is, but... I mean, times four production to animals is insane. And if you have your crabs eating those eggs, right? So imagine four times the production to already pretty beastly looking chickens, right? So that's kind of the thought. That's kind of the hope. I have no idea how strong this build could be. Uh, do we go chickens here? Is it too early? I'd like a medium fence first, I think. Here's some crabs, though. We could go crab here. I mean, we're doing pretty good. I do need a fuel solution. The fuel tank gets us there, but I think I'm good. We have a rabbit apprentice. Let's go with the crab. It might be just a bit early. In fact, you'd probably argue that you'd go with the chicken first, but a nice eight stack of crabs is kind of hard to turn down at this early juncture in the game, given it's one of the most important aspects of this build, right? So here's 11 chickens now. I mean, let's take the 11 chickens, but like I said, I want to get a medium fence for the chickens, not a small fence. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to have a pretty cluttered hand until we can kind of get what we need. And what do we need? Well, we need a medium fence. Here's a king crab. Yep. I'm going to be taking those as well. Those are rare and hard to get. So we're going to be taking advantage. Uh, blue wheat. Yes. Let's pay the tax, man. Uh, arboreal bounty, tropical soil, bunny-like carrot. Let's go with the arboreal bounty. Absolutely. And let's just play the blue wheat as we sort of, I don't want to say stall for a fuel solution and, of course, a medium fence. But ultimately, that's kind of what we're looking for. Take some more corn along the way, though. You bet. So I did a video not too long ago kind of featuring chicken in the corn. Well, I think this is kind of taking that to the next level because you add another strong element to the capabilities of the chicken. And that is, of course, the synergy with the crab, right? I mean, who would have thought crabs and chickens synergize together? Well, they do in in the realm of tarot cards, right? And we're going to be playing around with that today. So my thought is, and here's a lake. This is great. Okay, so the lake is pretty essential to us here. That will be the home to our crabs. So let's see. What do we go with here? So I think we, we want to do chickens right here, and then I'll play my lake right here. Chickens need a medium fence, though, of course, but we have the lake for the crab, so let's do it. A penguin or king crab. I think I got to go with the penguin. The penguin does help buff up your crabs as well. But ideally, you get a medium fence in place for it. So let's see if we can't get our crabs and king crab right here on the lake. It's not going to be super strong yet. In fact, it's not going to be strong at all because there's no fish available for it to eat. But if we can step into that popcorn buff, we'll be just fine. A silo water cow chicken. Fisherman hut. Yeah. We kind of need it. So let's go with the fisherman hut. Keep our crabs fed. Let's get the king crab in place. And let's just take a peek. So real pedestrian production there from the crabs. But don't worry. That's going to get a whole lot stronger. At least hopefully. And of course with rabbit apprentice. You do get a crab card every turn. I mean, I'm not going to say that, that crabs are uncommon, but it kind of feels like you just don't necessarily get them as often as you might like. So, I don't mind having Rabbit Apprentice in this particular one. Popsicle, Peanuts, Giant Sunflower, Water Cow. Here's a barn. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a barn. 
All right, need some medium fences here before we can really build this out. I need two of them. We'll take some more corn in the interim, of course. Oh, uh, let's go with let's see veganism, cow deluge. Let's go with black water. I think that's fine. I do have a biofuel generator somewhere in here. We just gotta draw it. So, got a strong placement for it. Just gotta draw it. So let's get it drawn. Excuse me. And let's uh. Let's see what it can do for us. In fact, we have it right here, so I don't necessarily need to go fuel corn. How's the blue wheat doing? So Bile Jenny's going to go right there. I think we can go with some more blue wheat. So Bile Jenny right here saves the day. Absolutely. And also gives boosted production to all of our animal friends, which is tremendous. Let's play the uh, fisherman hut. And continue to build out this corn here. So this is a build that, you know, it's... Here's a medium fence. Very nice. So this is a build that kind of does... I don't want to say it relies upon chicken in the corn, right? I don't like doing builds necessarily that relies on a single essence reward because you never know when or if you're going to get it, right? But I think this build is strong, but it's made stronger by a chicken in the corn, of course. So I think we're starting to gain some traction here. And what is making us money? Well, let's see. Popcorn's doing pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's all about the popcorn right now. 16k per turn. Well, we're going to see that shift here in, in just a little bit. Another medium fence, yes. Okay, so here we go. Play the, uh, the medium fence right here, and this will be the home to our chickens. Many, many chickens here. And then we're going to be able to get our penguins in play, too. And you're going to see how strong just the base penguin is. It, it's pretty darn strong. Silo water tank. Do we need a silo? I mean, we certainly could. Yeah, let's go ahead and play the silo. Let's get our chickens in place here. And the corn. Who knows? Maybe playing chickens will kind of prompt the game to hook you up with chicken in the corn. Maybe. We'll see. It's definitely an, an essence report I've gotten without having a single chicken on the farm, though. So... Let's play a fence right here as well. Another barn. Yes. Let's go with another barn. Play the corn. Let's play the blue wheat. And where are them penguins I got? I'm going to play the barn right here. Chickens are producing 12. So now 24. And you're going to see this number get pretty out of control once we get chicken in the corn. So I did a little testing on chicken in the corn, and it does work in a two island radius as long as you have homogeneous islands. So for the corn buff, right, you can mix corn and field corn. For chicken in the corn, do not mix corn and field corn. Have homogeneous islands. Homogeneous in, in every expression of the word, right? And you're going to see... <laughs> you're going to see results. And what do you know, folks? We get it here. Chicken in the corn. So, plus 30 water cost to chickens, of course, which is scary, but we have black water and 8,000 surplus in fuel, so I'm not worried about it at all. And furthermore, we were producing 24. Do keep that number in your mind, 24. Let's see what we're getting after we get this and probably end the turn. All right, so chicken in the corn locked in. Very nice. You love to see that one, folks. 24, so keep that number in mind, like I said. And let's see what we get. But first, let's continue to just play cards where we need them. Our penguins are also producing pretty mightily, too, at 3,072, which is pretty insane. But all right, let's, let's see what we have here. More crabs don't really necessarily need them. I could use more penguins. Yes, the penguins are kind of the, the rarity here. Very hard card to draw 
consistently. All right, let's check it out. 264, so just a massive increase in production overall for our chickens. And then if we watch what at turn end here, you will see the egg production be allocated to the crabs. So boom, boom, right? And now for crab legs, we're making 21k in the crab legs, making a lot of them. King crab leg is the king crab is more there just for buffing of the normal crabs and you know, we have a new champion in the crab leg. Well, and the fish too. That certainly helps as well, right? So good. This build is starting to come together decently. All right, so I think you'd go I mean, ideally you'd go chicken here and here. Which means another barn here would be a decent spot. Alright, continue to play our chickens here. And let's fill this one up and let's see chicken in the corn at work here. Boom, 324. So that is plus 30 and then it's doubled by the barn, right? So getting a lot of eggs here and here's a lake. This is what you want to see. This will allow us to establish yet another crab island. And more corn, you bet. We're going to do it right here. And then I'm going to put chickens here and here. And they're going to get buffed up by these three islands here. Plus the barn. So another barn will also go here. That is the plan anyways. Plans do change, but that's what we're looking at so far. 100k per turn. Very nice. So let's get crabs right here. Let's see if I can't stumble across another king crab as well. more chickens i need uh, i could use a nest i could use medium fences absolutely okay so this is good we got a three stack of medium fences there you love to see that absolutely all right penguin go medium fence here and here and let's start getting our chickens in place along with our crabs so now, uh, be the appropriate time to get a nest, for sure. And I think you can go more crabs here. Right, obviously. This be for more crabs, so let's get a lake. And then as far as additional penguins. I mean, do you, do you get the penguin on the barn? It does lose some of its properties. So I think I'm going to hold on to the medium fence for now. King crab, yes. This is what we need. In fact, we got just enough space left. Oops, I forgot to play my chicken there. My bad. Chicken, yes. Fuel cow, engineer cow, scarecrow, mill, alpha wolf, another medium fence. I'll take it. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I will certainly take it. All right, king crab. Oh, never mind. King crab takes six slots. Goodness. Okay. That'll be all right. Maybe we can get home sweet home, right? Which is another kind of key one to get. We'll certainly see. Fuel cow. Got a small fence. Might as well. So I need some lakes and I need some... I need a nest more corn is always helpful we will of course take that absolutely in fact that's a nice 18 stack of corn paste bloom weed expansion or dealer's hand let's go with dealer's hand i feel like our hands kind of cluttered maybe this will help us kind of work through it a little bit so i'm going to throw a small fence right here that will be for our nice fuel cow when we get them of course, you know, play the fuel cow off of your uh, biofield generator. It just makes sense. It's just plain strong. Fisherman hut. Don't need that. Crap collector. Is there an opportunity here? I mean, not really. Yeah, not really. water tank 
another biofuel generator. Penguins, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so we're looking for home sweet home. We are looking for... Uh, Golden Touch is another strong one. Obviously with the chicken build. But let's get our penguins in place here. Boom, we got a nice full fence of penguins here. And some of these crabs, at least the ones that receive the eggs, they just get insane production, right? Like, this guy has 7,000 production. That's pretty crazy. And for income overall, how we doing? Fish chipping in big, crab legs, so far, the champion. Right? So, let's keep on in this fashion here, folks. All right, home sweet home, more corn. My goodness, barn here as well. I'm going with the corn. 384. That's a nice sum. That is. Okay, so we're going with the barn here, right? Where's another impactful zone for... I mean, I think you could go with chickens here. Right? So why not do corn right here? But let's start over here first. Alright, so we're about 10 days away from another essence reward here. The popcorn buff would also be another really, really good one to get. So... Maybe we can lock that in as well. Let's grab more penguins in the in the meantime, though, of course. I'll lock those in with a gigantic grin on the face, for sure. And just that one fuel cow is doing work here, my friends. I know the sunflower is going to hate this, but I'm throwing a melter right here. I'm just not too concerned with the sunflower's happiness in this particular one. No hard feeling, Sunflower. It's just the way it is. Alright. 125 coming out the bank. We are, you know, well over $2 million. The fish producing well. The crab, the crab legs producing very well. At this early turn of 110. Alright, so let's think about this here for a second. If we have a barn here, I think more chickens here is a good play. So let's start another corn island right here. And then as far as our penguins go, I'll find a spot for them for sure, but it's just a low priority right now. <laughs> More corn, my goodness. The game is just hooking up the corn right now, folks. In fact, I don't recall seeing so much corn. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On our way to eight complete islands of corn. So that popcorn buff is going to be important to get. Need more lakes as well. Medium fence. Do we need it? Suppose I'll take it. But I need some more lakes to really uh, take this one over the top here. Got to start getting our crabs played, right? Either that or home sweet home would be a good one. We'll find out what we get here in three short days. Cross. King crab. I'll go with the king crab. It's not often that I turn down the cross. I'm not going to lie, but... We have a few wheat islands, right? It's not like it's an economic staple for us, right? We have a bunch of fuel in the surplus, so I think we're doing fine without the need to double it. All right, 188. Sheep, female rabbit, giant chicken, <laughs> more corn. My goodness. This game is just going nutty today. 
Cow Deluge, we have Tropical Soil and we have Bunny Like Carrot. So Tropical Soil does us well here, actually. Nothing else is really going to do anything, so let's take it. And we'll probably have to wait just a little bit longer for... Home Sweet Home or one of the other impactful ones. Golden Touch, it's kind of a nice to have. Wouldn't really call that essential. So let's see, if we go with crabs here. This is definitely a barn spot, right? Just such mighty production out of all these chickens here. Let's start another corn island right here. It's not fully optimized, but that's okay. I've gotten more corn than I even know what to do with here, to be honest. All right, the cross comes back again. Let's do it to avoid the reroll. It does have some impact to us for sure. I really need some more lakes though. My goodness game. Just hook me up with the lake. Even over the cross. And then how about the uh, the popcorn buff game or a nest or something? Fuel cow, yeah. Sure. If you ever want to just never have to worry about resources again, right? Get black water and then get a, a few of them fuel cows on your bio generator. Just massive and mighty. All right, penguin fence is full. I mean, we could start another penguin island right here. I think that's fine because you want to go crab here, right? Yeah, let's do that. I think that makes sense. So that's crab, right? This will be crab. It means this would be penguin and then you'd probably go crab here in the middle as well. That means we need a lot of lakes, my goodness. Melter. I, I could use a few more melters, right? Just to make sure our popcorn production of the future stays strong, right? So I could throw one right here. In fact, I'm running the risk of overexpanding, if I'm being honest. But let's just keep building this out and I'm going to need some essence help. Some help, excuse me, with the essence rewards for sure. I think you get certain ones and this thing just goes nuclear. Or maybe not nuclear, but it gets very strong, of course. We'll certainly see. So let's go with our melter right there as well. It's just going to get us to where we need to be if we do get the popcorn buff, right? End our turn. What do we have? We have a barn. I do need to play this right here. Okay. So we could go more corn here. You don't want to put the barn next to the penguin. Kind of decided that this was a crab spot. Man, I, I need more. Here we go. Lakes. Yes, finally. Thank you. I was just about to say, where are the lakes? And stop being stingy. Another lake and let's play the king crab there. Get these crabs playing. All right, 161. I 
Yeah, we can take some more sunflowers, sure thing. So let's go with another lake right here. Could really use a nest. Or just some more chicken cards to help, you know, fill up these fences a little faster. This one kind of develops slowly, this whole build, but... I think once we get to a spot, it's going to be looking good. Golden chance here, so this one will make a big difference. So let's go with the golden chance. And you're going to see a shift now. So 110k in crab legs, okay? So that's very strong, right? Because if we look at the crab leg... Sells for six bucks, right? So you have to make a lot of them to get any kind of meaningful income from it. So it is pretty strong. And as we kind of continue to scale this out, it's going to get even stronger, of course. So I think we can throw a barn right here and see what it does to our crabs here. Okay, so it shifts the production around just a little bit. It looks like we have one guy producing 2,000. <laughs> More corn. Yeah, I mean, this is the chicken in, in, in the corn pill, right? So I did a chicken in the corn run. To be honest, I didn't get nearly as much corn as I needed. So the game follows up with this. <laughs> this just craziness. And I'm okay with it, folks. So let's take a look. Golden chance here. 528 golden eggs, 264k. So that's where it gets really strong. So yes, the golden egg has kind of taken the mantle as... the top product that we're selling here. But that was to be expected, of course. King crab, yes. We'll take it. So overall, how strong do you think this build is? Does it have some... Uh, some staying power, right? Can you scale this? I think you can definitely scale it because it's easy to get a bunch of chickens. Now, let's give in, of course, that you have a nest, which we do not. Which is also kind of surprising, I'm not going to lie. Barn, yep, don't mind if I do. Alright, King Crab can go right here. And let's keep playing crabs. Let's get the barn in place right here. Chicken. Crab. And end turn. Got 11 more turns until our next essence reward. Really hoping for the popcorn buff or home sweet home. Those are the two we're targeting here. And then somewhere along the way, please get me a nest game. Okay? Penguin. We'll take it. Oops, forgot to play my chicken there. That'll be okay. Penguins need a sound too when you spawn them. Right? The penguin as an animal is just so cool, right? So the dev team needs needs to give the penguin a really cool sound, for sure. Maybe they can do like a revamped version of the bunny sound. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Bird nest. My goodness. It has taken us 153 days. But folks, we got it. All right, so four bird nests. Let's go with the small fence right here. Actually, that's not a good idea. Let's go with the bird nest right here. So what would actually happen is it would change my chickens to electric chickens. And I don't think you get the right result. Alright, bird nest, here we go. 
We're going to start seeing our trouble with chicken population fade away now. Okay, so we are looking good. Starting to get a whole bunch of chickens now. So let's get a few more in there so we get a nice amount per turn. And then continue to fill up this fence here. Medium fence, yes. The answer is yes. Okay, so if we were going to build out some more chickens here, I mean, just such mighty production, really. <laughs> 1260 golden eggs my goodness 630k there my friends all right let's see what do we have so I don't have any fences anyway so For our next fence. So if we get a little inner sanctum of penguins here, right? Surrounded on the outside by crabs. So that's this spot here for penguins, right? So that means you'd put a crab lake right here. And chickens right here so let's get chickens right there all right looking good I wish a uh, rabbit apprentice worked with penguins right but maybe that would be too strong because the penguin is pretty mighty. It just is. It's 768 per penguin, but if you get the popcorn buff, it goes up to, I mean, it's 768 times four, right? And there are, of course, other ways to just globally buff animal production. So we're gonna find out what we get here in just a turn. Uh, fuel wheat. Medium fence, we'll take it. Just so we can continue to build out this little grid. It's going to be dependent on kind of what we get, though. It really will be. Home sweet home is a helpful one. That is for sure. All right, so medium fence here. That'll be for more penguins. But yeah, we get home sweet home. That is a good one to lock in. So we'll throw more chickens. Oop. Yeah, more chickens right here. Uh... With home sweet home now unlocked. Let's get rid of this fuel cow. Do good things for us. And then let's get our just MVP prime real estate spot. Pumped full with some more chickens. You can also start adding more crabs as well. So this is good stuff. Alright, so chicken, chicken. So you'd go chicken here. Go crab, chicken. Crab, chicken. So that's kind of what it would look like. Just this big power diamond and then, you know, around it you add in your corn and your barns, right? So that's kind of what we're looking at here. As far as like an overall build goes, right? Kind of a 10,000 foot level. That's the build that we're going for. But we got a lot on our plate now with Home Sweet Home, right? A lot of backfilling to do. Not necessarily a bad problem to have, right? All right. I would like to secure some more crabs for sure. Just a nice like 11 stack of crabs. Would be great. Game, what do you say? A 
game may or may not comply with that one. We'll see. All right. All right, looking good. Next one we're looking for is the popcorn buff, though. If we can get that locked in, we're going to see a meteoric spike in our golden egg production, as well as our crab leg and fish production as well. I mean, it's kind of, I'd say it's probably the most important one for us to get. We should have an ample amount of popcorn to feed all of our fine animal friends here. Let's go with some more corn. But yeah, I would say that's probably the most impactful one that we can get here. Either that or maybe something like Gluttonous Feast. But popcorn buff kind of seems like that's where it's at. I'm not going to lie. I've never had... A, well, I don't want to say never, but... I don't remember in recent memory a time when I've had this many completed corn islands. The game just, it, it kind of feels like it gets a little stingy with the corn after a while. It really does. However, I think we're looking good. I mean, here's another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten complete islands of corn. Pretty impressive. So where's a nice impactful spot? Not here. I think if we did something like right here to get these two, right? I think that makes a lot of sense. That's of course provided we, we continue to get corn, who knows? Penguin, yep. You bet the game is just hooking up what we need. In my experience, getting the penguin on a frequent basis is kind of rare. It just it feels like one of those cards that just kind of goes away after a while. Alright, crabs. Yep, let's continue to play ya. Penguins will throw them right there. I mean, they're only buffing up, right? Three crab fences, which is pretty good. And getting that fish being the skilled aquatic hunter, aquatic predator that the penguin is. All right, so we did eclipse the million dollar mark per turn. There is a lot of variability, of course, right? So 2.3, last turn we got one. It's all about how many golden eggs you get. For this particular build, I mean, we're locking in a reasonable amount. We certainly have enough production from our chickens per turn. And that is, of course, only going to, like, meteorically spike if we can get the popcorn puff. Just think about it. Take what we have now and multiply it by four, right? Small fence, sheep, just regular chickens. We're doing fine on, on chickens now. Small fence. Don't think I need it. Let's go with the antenna. Non-invasive play there. Do I just play these cows? I mean, I kind of feel like I probably should, but as soon as we do that, we're going to get like the pasteurizer and things that we just absolutely don't need, right? The draw phase is the important phase for us because that's where you're going to get what you need. So I would 
prefer not to kind of muddy that up. But this chicken build certainly does get very strong. And of course that is accentuated by Golden Touch. But I mean, crab legs, right? 237k. It's definitely a viable build for, I don't know, probably 250 turns without Golden Touch, right? I think we'd still be doing pretty good without Golden Touch. Anytime you're, you're able to make a quarter of a million dollars per turn, I mean, that's going to take you somewhere. And as long as you're cautious about expansion and rerolls, you should be able to take this easily to... What, turn 250? I mean, you take it beyond turn 200 for sure. And that is kind of the, the benchmark, right? That's the assessment of, is a build working or not? You should be able to determine that at the end of 200 turns, right? And of course, that used to be the spot where the game ended. So it's just kind of one of those special numbers, right? All right, more corn. Yeah, we're going to play it right here. I'm kind of shocked that I'm still getting corn. Definitely not complaining, though. All right, more crabs. Three mil per turn, about. With a lot of variability, yeah. 2.8. So we're, we're getting some consistency. Alright, have we got these filled up yet? I think if we fill this one up, it's going to get us there quicker. All right, penguins, yes. We will take them whenever they show their faces. All right, we are getting close to yet another essence reward. And you already know what we're looking for here, folks. Popcorn buff, let's go. Will it into existence. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. We want this build to come full circle. We want to realize it's full potential. So let's go. All right, more chickens. Man, chicken builds low-key get exhausting. Playing just all of these chicken cards, right? You get so many of them. They're singular. I think a cool feature would be the ability to stack up. So you would get a stack of chicken cards, right? Like all of these would be layered upon one another in your hand. So it'd be like chicken times five. And then the ability, if the fence space is there, to play all five of those in the same location, right? I think that would be a sensible upgrade, sensible change. It would make builds like this just less arduous, right? Medium fence. I think I need it. All right, and what do we get? Bunny like carrot, field crepes, and uh, paste bloom. I'll go bunny like carrot. Uninspiring stuff here, folks. <laughs> However, we have some more chickens to play, so. 
Gotta stay on our purpose here, I suppose. Alright, so two medium fences here. So medium fence is gonna go here. And then one in the interior here. That would be penguins, right? So it's not often that you actually get the structural elements needed to completely set up your template, right? Your your grid, if you will. So that is one cool aspect of this build. Now are we going to get the animals to fill it out? It doesn't necessarily feel like it. Chickens will be fine, but I guess with the one crab card we're getting each turn, we'll get there eventually with the crabs, but it's all about the penguin. Probably not going to get maxed out on penguins. And I haven't seen a lake in a long time. You know, maybe I spoke too soon. We do get a stack of penguins there. Okay, well, the game is being generous. The game is hooking us up with what we need. Maybe we can get the popcorn buff here at turn 200. We'll certainly find out. All right, penguins. Chickens, crabs. And more penguins. So what is the production looking like? I mean, we're seeing some pretty flashy numbers around here. I mean, 2,872 crab legs per turn. How are the crab legs selling? 233k. Look at that golden egg production. My goodness. 2.2 million dollars. That's pretty nutty, my friends. Yeah, there you go. Crab leg. 270k. So we're looking good. Alright. Um, let's see. Yep. Crab can go right there. Grapes, medium fence. I think now's the time. I'm going to play one of these medium fences and I'm going to get these cows out of my hand. I think even if you had to like sacrifice a turn or maybe sacrifice a draw, having the option to discard I think is another good improvement. Like, I don't think you should just be able to discard at will, like whenever you want. That kind of feels like it would mess with the balance of the game, but being able to discard, I think is important because in this particular one, we're just not going with cows, right? And I'm sick of looking at these cows. I mean... I appreciate you, cow. I like you, cow. You are awesome, cow. You're very strong as well, but we're going chickens in this one, so let's just discard them, right? Of course, we're going to get a cow per turn, but that's okay. It's better than drawing all five every single turn. Allows me to build out this uh, this chicken build quicker. Here's some lakes. That's very nice. Lake comes at a pretty good time. Got a lot of the infrastructure built out. 
So I want you to visualize, right? Visualize this build completed, right? So visualize this inner sanctum all filled up with penguins, right? Crab here. Crab, crab, crab. And basically a combination of corn and barns around the outside buffing up these chickens, right? Just imagine that. Like, that is like your superpower diamond, right? Basically like this all the way around, right? How strong do you think it is? I mean, I think you could argue that if we stuck with this one for basically as long as we can go, maybe we get it. I'm looking at about the 55 minute mark here. I want to be conscious of your time, of course. But maybe this is one that I'll just kind of take, kind of get to the hour mark and maybe we'll take this one or, or let's do this. Let's get to day 200. And then I'll just, uh, I'll see how far I can take it off camera here. See if we get a nice strong build or not. Do I need more medium fences? Uh, the answer is no, surprisingly. I need more corn and barns. So here's a pasteurizer. Yikes. All right, I guess let's go with the water cow. Play the crab. Let's see if we can get the popcorn buff here. This takes a pretty strong build. I mean, this is a pretty strong build, right? It's not your orthodox, like, veganism corn run, right? No, this is a crab and chicken build. That depends upon... Well, I mean, it's, it's greatly enhanced by chicken and the corn. But it also utilizes the the penguin, of course. Utilizes the cat, the the crab, excuse me, the king crab. And personally, I mean, I, I don't use the crab, king crab, or penguin really too often on this channel. I honestly don't really use the the chickens too often either. Hey, here's a king crab. I feel like that's kind of lucky getting a king crab. At turn 195. Maybe that bodes well. Maybe this thing does go to turn 300. Who knows? We're going to find out. We'll get the day 200 here. See which essence reward we get. And then I'll keep building this out kind of off camera. And we'll summarize toward the end. I don't know, I think you could maybe argue that if we got the popcorn buff, that we wouldn't be able to feed all of our animals, given how many we have now. We do have a lot of popcorn, though, of course. A uh, field cow, yes, we'll do that. So let's play the crab. Field cow. Field cow, crab. And you guessed it, more chickens. Although we're pretty much out of space to play them, which is kind of relieving, if I'm honest. All right, here we go. Day 200 dawns. We uh, pay the rent, no problem. But more importantly, what do we get? We get paste bloom, field grapes, peanut fest. So I'll do Pace Bloom here. Yeah, I'll do Pace Bloom here and then, I mean, 74 mil in the bank. Obviously the rent begins to scale up pretty excessively here, but I'll kind of see how far this one goes off camera. I'll see how much of this grid we can get built out, right? With crabs and penguins and the like, but I want to be conscious of your time. We did just hit the hour mark, so 
I'll do that off camera and we'll follow up with a little summary toward the end here. I'll let you know kind of how far I get, how far the, or how strong this build is. And, and then we can kind of uh, close it out from there. So if you don't mind, I will be right on back once we uh, take this thing closer to the end. So thanks for viewing here, folks. I'll be right back. Thanks. All right, friends, I am back. It is day, I think it's like 241 here. And so a few things to note. We did get the popcorn buff, which makes this build really, really strong. Okay. And then we also got gluttonous feast. So those are kind of two that I identified as pretty impactful to this overall build. And sure enough, they were, right? So 14 mil per turn here. Massive production out of the golden eggs. But I mean, look at the crab leg here. For a million dollars in a $6 crab leg. That's pretty impressive. King crab leg doing a little bit fish not nearly as strong as you would think you know usually with penguin builds the the fish gets out of control but no I mean it's the golden egg and then it's the crab leg so that is very very nice um the reason I'm kind of pulsing in here at this particular point in time I mean we owe 36 mil we have 332 in the bank this actually will go on for quite a bit longer but after taking gluttonous feast I mean it just takes such a long time to resolve a turn. So I'm going to end my turn here so you can see what I mean. So we end the turn and the game. I don't really know what's going on with it. I do want to document this for the development team though, of course. But yeah, we're ending our turn. So I, I ended my turn, what, 10 seconds ago? And it is still formulating, right? It's still thinking. It's obviously due to the gluttonous feast, right? Where the animals are producing twice. So we'll have to kind of keep that in mind moving forward for a build with so many animals that's my guess it's driven by just the sheer volume of animals we have here on the farm today so there we go that the turn finally resolves and i don't really have the the wherewithal to kind of sit through and manually crank this out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this fine stack of seven sunflowers here and i'm going to call this an episode here today folks so 332 mil right making 17 a turn ish about somewhere in there a lot of variability with the golden eggs right but overall a fun build featuring some fun creatures like the crab and the penguin and the king crab and then even the chicken too even though the chicken gets a little micromanagey it's still fun using the synergy between the crab and, and, and the chicken and really having some success with it so I think with that said, folks, we're going to back on out, get to the uh, title screen here and land this plane. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to thank you for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. You know, thanks for bearing with me. Just, yeah, the, the voice definitely has felt better in the past. We'll just put it that way. Struggling through a little bit of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just pain, sore throat, right? Stuff like that, so... We're getting through it. We're grinding through it. But thanks for bearing with me. I know I'm probably not bringing the same vibrato and energy I normally have. The voice just hurts. We'll get back in fighting shape soon. So yeah, thanks for your viewership. I hope you enjoyed this little kind of analysis and deep dive into the penguin, chicken, crab, king crab combo. It's a fun combo. Um, if you're enjoying the content here on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. Uh, also, join the Discord if you're a Discord user. There is a link in the video description right to the Discord. There are some previous links in previous videos that don't work. This one does for sure. So if you have any interest in joining, click on in and join. We'd love to have you. So with that said, folks, I'm going to get out of here and drink some uh, like menthol or peppermint tea or something. Get this voice back in fighting shape. And we'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot, friends. Bye.